After total shoulder replacement surgery, it's normal for you to be experiencing some pain and swelling. On a scale from 0 to 10, ideally we want your pain to be managed at a 4 out of 10 or less. This is why it's important to take your pain medication about 30 minutes before starting your exercise session or your outpatient physiotherapy. If you have any additional questions about the exercises, please refer to your surgical guide or follow up with your physiotherapist. The following exercises will be recommended for you to complete 10 repetitions three times a day for the first four weeks after your surgery. It's a good idea to start these exercises before your surgery to help you better prepare for your recovery. Deep breathing. For this exercise, relax into a comfortable position. You can do it in either lying or sitting. Place your hand on the outside of your rib cage and take a deep breath in through your nose. You want to feel that lower rib cage expand into your hands. Hold your breath for a few seconds and then exhale, similar to how you would blow out the candles on your birthday cake. Repeat this exercise 10 times every hour you are awake for the first few days after your surgery to keep your lungs fully inflated. The next exercise is foot and ankle pumping to help get the leg muscles working and prevent any blood clots from forming. Find yourself in a comfortable position. Point and flex your feet back and forth 10 times every hour you are awake. Neck exercises. Before starting any of your exercises, check in with yourself to ensure you are starting in a comfortable posture. You can do this by gently pulling your shoulders down and back and placing your neck in a neutral resting position. To avoid neck stiffness, gently turn your head from side to side and from ear to shoulder within your comfortable range of movement. This exercise should be repeated three times on each side. Please stop this exercise if you feel any dizziness or lightheadedness. Gripping exercises. To help with circulation in your hand, find yourself in a comfortable posture. You can complete this exercise with or without the sling on. Gently open and close your fist, making as full a fist as is normal for you and fully straightening your fingers each time. Do not squeeze anything while you're doing this exercise. Repeat this movement 10 times, three times a day. Wrist exercises. The following wrist exercises can be completed in sitting or lying with your sling on or off and completed on your surgical arm. Starting in a comfortable position, Turn your thumb so it's pointing up towards the ceiling and keeping that surgical arm close to the edge of your body. Move your wrist gently back and forth or from side to side. Next, you will turn your palm so that it's facing parallel to the floor. Turn your hand from side to side. And finally, keeping that elbow nice and close to your body, gently turn your palm face up and then face down. Repeat each of these movements 10 times, three times a day. Elbow exercises. In lying, position yourself into a comfortable posture. Gently lower your surgical arm towards the bed using your good arm to help as needed. With your thumb pointing up, gently try to bend your elbow and bring your hand up towards your shoulder. Once up at the top, hold for a few seconds before slowly straightening the elbow and bringing your hand back towards the bed. You can use your non-surgery arm as needed to help with this activity. Repeat this exercise 10 times, three times a day. When it's difficult to get into a lying position, you can also do this exercise from your bed with some pillows propping you or your recliner chair. 
Again, use your non-surgery arm to assist your surgical arm with bending and straightening that elbow. Your goal is to allow for full bending of the elbow and full stretching of the elbow or straightening of the elbow. Shoulder exercise. Before starting this exercise, find yourself something to hold on to, such as a golf club, cane, broomstick, or umbrella. Position yourself into a comfortable lying position on your back. Try to extend your elbows on both arms as best you can, and use your good arm to help lift that surgery arm forward. Hold for a few seconds and then gently return back down towards your lap. You're going to repeat this exercise 10 times, three times a day with a goal of reaching no more than 90 degrees of forward reaching with your arm. Pendular exercise. Position yourself near a strong, steady surface that can support your body weight such as near a countertop or a heavy piece of furniture. Place the foot opposite your surgery arm forward slightly. Lean into that same arm and allow your surgical arm to hang at the side of your body. Gently shift your body weight using your legs and allow your arm to swing like a pendulum. You can swing from front to back and in circles both directions. Repeat these exercises 10 times each, three times a day.